1177 and this is going to be a short tutorial on how to shoot uh, out of your hands. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is your hand. Uh, the second thing you'll need is Final Cut Express or Final Cut Pro. And then the third thing you'll need is just a internet connection. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is just film some footage of you doing this. And then you're good for the footage part. So now I will go over to my computer and put this footage in the computer. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut. What you want, you're going to want to do is go into your camera and get the footage shot of you <clears throat> basically using your hand as a gun. And you're going to want to scroll through until you see your first gun shot, which is right about here. What you want to do is use your arrow keys to go by frame by frame to find the first point where your gun, where your hand basically recoils, which is right about here. So you'll just leave the cursor there and go over to your internet browser and type in detonationfilms.com. And we're here. Now you just click on their logo. You'll see effects stock footage. You want to click on that. And you want to scroll all the way down to muzzle flashes right here. Okay, you want to get a, you want to go to page K4 and scroll down until you see the best all-purpose muzzle flashes. And you go and download the zip file. Okay, so after you're done with that, you go over to your downloads, you go to the muzzle flashes and you see right there that you have the muzzle flash kit you just place that right there and you go and overlay this over all your video it doesn't really matter right now but what you're gonna want to do is go scroll through until you find a nice muzzle flash that you think looks good so you're probably gonna want to head to the beginning I usually use the first ones because I don't mind them that much but they have a few frames of their logo so you're gonna wanna do frame by frame until you find the first fire that looks pretty good so I will find the fire and go and leave it right there and go over and get your razor blade tool and snip it right there then just hit A and delete that and then delete the space Oops. And then you're going to just go by frame by frame until everything disappears, even the smoke, which is right there. So I will get the razor blade tool again and delete this entire thing. And then I'm going to have to go back <clears throat> and find where my gun fired once again, which is right here where it first goes up a little bit and you're going to want to drag that over and then what you're going to want to do here's where the cool part comes you want to do control click uh, composite mode and then you do screen what that'll do is it'll take out all the black and you just go to the middle of your well you go to sort of the beginning of your shot where you see a bunch of the flame and what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to reverse it completely and you'll find where your gun first fires and you'll put it right there so as you see you might want to move it up a little bit so it's more it looks more realistic you might want to tilt it a little bit so it so it looks good Actually this, since it since it moves a lot between the shots, you might just want to take the average of it and put it right in between. So when you fire, they don't see much of the shot, so it'll look pretty good. If you wanted to keyframe it, you could, but I don't know how that would look. But anyway, it looks pretty good anyway. You might even want to start the muzzle flash a little like a frame ahead so you don't have to do that much moving so you can fire it like right there 
So now we'll render it and see how it looks. And for a lot of you, if you're wondering why your rendering times are slow, you probably need a lot of RAM because movie rendering takes up a lot of like memory. So let's just play through this from right here. It just films some footage of you doing this. And that actually looked pretty snappy. So what you're going to want to do is just uh, go over edit copy and do the same thing. Go to where your hand moves, probably right around here, and just paste. Uh, and render and see how it looks. Okay, so let's see how that looks. So that looks pretty good. So I will probably just go right here and just trim this off so it doesn't like take up a lot of rendering time. And now the second thing you will do is you'll go to Safari and you'll go to actually Google because sometimes the address itself doesn't work but you go to find sounds right there findsounds.com uh, and you search for well if you want it to be a little bit higher quality you might want to put 16-bit minimum resolution and then you do basically a uh, gun shot or whatever you want and then you just go through and listen to them listen to which one sounds the best that sounds pretty good but there's a lot of echo so I might try a little one like this oh that's distant uh, maybe this huh. it's like the same with the other one only lower quality yeah that, that sounds okay I guess you can always just go through and um, just find one that you like a lot, but I think this is the one I chose. So you control click on it, do download link file as, then you do whatever you want, and you go down to desktop, and you save it, and it downloads fast as you can see. And then you will go to desktop, and you will take the noise and pop it right in there. And basically, you just this one's easy because you basically only have to start it where the gun fires. So render that. You doing this? And then, once again, you go and copy this file and paste it right where, right where you want the second one to start. So let's go and listen to that. And as you can see, you can make a pretty nice effect. You can always add more flashes. And you can go to your own sites to find different kinds of flashes. I think that Detonation Films, they might, they sell footage and they have free footage. If you're looking to do a machine gun type effect, you probably do not want to do this. You probably want to find like a, a muzzle flash that's built for a machine gun instead of like pasting, pasting, pasting because that would probably take up a bunch of time. But yeah, that's basically how you do it, and thanks for watching the video. If you have any more tutorials that you want me to share, I will tell you anything, because I always like seeing more effects videos, because they're pretty cool. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.